Well, and after that silent movie, uh, I show you the most underestimated computer problem, the CMOS battery. You may think, what can a small battery cause uh, problems? How can it do it? Well, it runs empty, you lose your time and data uh, date settings, but that's not all. There are a lot of servers, for example, for example the HP Generation 7 Blade servers that won't start at all if this battery is dead. Or even worse, when it is half dead, you lose parts of your data, so some BIOS settings are uh, bad and some are still good and the computer cannot decide which one is which and yeah, that's it. Now I have from today another coin battery and this one has a pretty exciting problem. I have never seen that before and I want to show you because it could lead to a wrong diagnostic if you stumble upon one of these. If you want to know if your battery is good or not, you turn it over, take your multimeter, minus goes here, plus goes here, we have 3.15 volts. Seems to be good. The other one has 3.21 volts. Okay, no big problem. But I learned, especially today, that testing a battery only with a voltmeter is not a good enough. So I take an LED. And if you connect it right, you can see it bright. It shines bright, everything is okay. Here we also have 3 point something volt, but LED doesn't light up. Maybe, I don't know if you can see that in camera, it lights up a little bit. Yes, I think you can see that, but it's much too low. And if I measure that again, we have 3.13 volt, almost the same, and here we have 3.08 volt. This one came down a little bit. Sorry, I'm off camera. This one came down a little bit. This one still has 3.1 volt. But this one is the one that doesn't work. So we have higher voltage than this one, but this is obviously bad. So what happens if we measure with the lead attached? So something that draws uh, some current measuring again and we have 1.8 volt that's about the voltage when the LED the green LED here starts um, conducting starts to light up but this battery should stay at 3 volts what is the other battery doing it's lighting up brightly and we have oops I reversed polarity 2.47 volt and sinking so of course this LED without any resistor draws quite a bit of current so it's normal that the battery comes down a little bit but this one has a different problem as you may know, or maybe not know, that every power source has an internal resistance. So if this is our power source, this is our battery, it has an internal resistance. That's the battery itself. Well, this resistance is also part of the battery itself, of course. It's 
the metals, the chemistry, the, how the battery is built, everything, you can uh, calculate how much this resistor or resistance is, because there is not a resistor built in, but this happens. This just happens, yeah. You can measure the voltage here uh, without load. So this resistor doesn't have any influence as long as no current is flowing. And you can also short circuit that with your amp meter and measure the current, the maximum short circuit current. Oops, must do like so. Current goes from plus to minus. You can measure the short circuit current and calculate the resistance. Resistance is uh, let me think, volt divided by amp. Is that right? The more amp, the less resistance. Well then, let's measure that properly. We call this battery 1 and we call this battery 2. First we need voltage. Let's switch that to voltage and we got 2.95 volts here. And the other battery has 3.14 volt. Then short circuit current and because this is only a small battery I can do that with my milliamp meter here directly. We get 210 milliamps which is quite impressive for a small battery like that. And here we get 0 0.6 milliamps, which is also impressively low. Okay, so let's calculate the internal resistance 2.95 by 210 milliamps, that is kilo ohm or 140 ohm. And here we have 3.14, 0 0.6, divide, that's 5.2 kilo ohm and that's the internal resistor of uh, resistance of this battery and you can clearly see that battery is faulty it cannot deliver any current because the voltage is too low to get current through a resistance like that this seems to be okay. I don't have the data about these batteries. Maybe there are better ones, there are worse, but I think that's okay. They are not made to deliver high uh, currents. Just enough to make this LED go on brightly. Yeah, so you can have a battery with voltage but it's still dead. So voltage alone doesn't tell you anything. You have to put a load on it, measure the voltage then and see what you get. So that's how to test batteries. And as I said, every time when you have a computer that doesn't run properly, that doesn't turn on properly, 
also check the batteries don't forget to check them they are sometimes tricky and you it's very easy to forget who thinks about the battery so well i do thanks for watching Thank you.